Hello guys, this is Ruben Rush. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show how to install Laravel 5.5 in Ubuntu 14.04. If you see here, my machine is running on Ubuntu 14.04 and uh, I'm going to install Laravel 5.5 here. So to install Laravel 5.5, there are a few requirements. You should have these modules in your machine. So the first one is uh, PHP. The version of PHP should be greater than 7.0. And if you see here, there is no PHP installed in my machine. So I'm going to install it for the first time. For that, uh, sudo apt get install php 7.0 yes yes so by default if you install this php uh, some of the modules will be installed by default and uh, we'll check what all the modules got installed and if there is any missing uh, extensions so php is here now php version yes php version is uh, 7.0 and we'll check what all the modules uh, the php have using this command php iphone him <coughs> and these are all the available modules uh, in php and we will just cross verify we have uh, open ssl and here uh, yes we have open ssl and uh, we need pdo we have pdo and we need mb string probably there is no mb string and tokenizer yes we have tokenizer module uh, we need xml but there is no xml so we need to install this xml as well as this uh mb string module so for that we can use the same command dot zero uh, probably mb string and uh, php 7.0 and uh, xml so here they say we need these extensions but once you install this extension uh, you will create the laravel project at that time you will get uh, on exception like uh, you have to install zip module from php so before getting into that we will install that module also 7.0 zip so now we're installing the missing modules yes now we will check the modules okay now we have zip we have uh, tokenizer uh, mb string xml yes now we have all the modules from php the next thing we need to install composer in our machine uh, the composer is uh, nothing but it's a kind of package manager we can get many packages for our project and uh, laravel is av also available in the composer so to get the laravel in our machine we need to install composer first so for that i'm going to the composer folder sorry not composer folder yes composer website and then uh, download and uh, they have given a couple of uh, steps need to be executed to get the composer in our machine so i'm just copying those commands paste and just execute the commands so you will get the composer in our machine but now the composer is installed locally i mean you can you can access the composer uh, using php composer.phr but if you want to make uh, the composer uh, available globally from the terminal uh, we need to move these uh, composer.phr file to on folder uh, i'll i'll do this now so what you need to do is move the composer file to uh user local i think it's bin or lib mm -hmm. and uh, just type composer so now we move this composer.phr file to this path so that it will be available globally so that we can access the composer command from anywhere so to check that uh, quickly i'm running composer command so now i can i can run this uh, composer command from anywhere so we have installed a uh, composer and we are going to install laravel also globally using this uh, command 
just copy paste those commands composer globe so it, it just says that uh, I need this Laravel installer uh, globally in my machine so we are just instructing composer to install Laravel in our machine globe for globally so it will take a couple of seconds uh, maybe more than 30 or 40 seconds to install the dependencies mm -hmm. it's installing uh, symphony debug console promises yes now install the basic dependencies uh, for for laravel package it's it's installed the laravel and also the dependencies for laravel so these things are, these are all the dependencies for laravels so composer installed those packages also so now we are going to create uh, the project called uh, block so for that I have uh, created a folder before laravel lessons so here I'm going to uh, run this command So here I am telling the composer to create a project using this Laravel package which we have installed and the project name will be block. So if I click enter it will put the Laravel files and the basic dependencies for this project and it will download the basic stuff and it will create the project. For this you have to wait uh, maybe one minute I don't know. So once once it installed the packages uh, and the necessary stuff for for the project, the next thing we need to do is just PHP artisan. So so it will just create a development server in the local machine and it will put all the things. Uh, it will wrap all the uh, web files and uh, other required files for the website and it will just boot up the uh, development server for us so that we can see our website. Yeah, it's installing the basic stuff. So you can see this is very very simple uh, steps and uh, uh, very quick uh, requirements. Uh, you can just install those requirements and just boot up the Laravel project. You will get all the things up and running. It's like magic. You don't need to set up the folder structure, nothing. Uh, if you do the uh, composer create project, it will also create the folder structure for you. Uh, where to put the uh, visual components, where to put the logics and where to have the uh, uh, database configurations. In my, in my upcoming videos, I will show the, I will explain the uh, folder structure of Laravel. think uh, it will take a couple of seconds more for the first time it will take uh, this much time but from the next time if you want to add more packages it will not take much uh, much time because for the, for the first time it will uh, download and it will store all the things in the catch catch composer catch so from next time if you create a project it will get those uh, packages from the catch so it will not take much time so now it create says it's created the project and uh, it created a application key for for our block project so if you do ls so you can see the blob sorry block project is created for us cd block so you can see here it created uh, all the folders and files which is required for the project i'll explain this folder structure in my next video so now I'll just uh, spin up the server development server and I'll quickly show uh, the website, the basic website. So once you done with this step, just execute the command php artisan serve uh, from, uh, from the block folder. See, it's, it's really quick. It says Laravel development uh, server started in this uh, link see it's quick uh, it's just it's just magic 
you just created a laravel project and it sh it, sh it shows uh, it's running in the local development server so here you see documentation laracast and news blah 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 and some references so i'll show you where this code resides on for that i need to open the code uh, i always use attempt to edit the code so here i'm opening the block project which we have created now and uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are we are going to modify the name of the laravel here uh, i fold this here and here so the view files basically uh, stored under resources and views so here you are seeing a file called welcome.blade.php uh, basically laravel uh, uses this blade engine to process the file i mean process the uh, html file so here you can find uh, laravel so i'm going to modify it as a awesome laravel so i just modified and i saved it so here i'm refreshing the page so here it's just updating the heading of the page so it's really quick and uh, simple we can create uh, websites under 15 minutes or 10 minutes it's so fast so it will give all the structure and the basic templates which we require to create a project and uh, i'll just change this topic one and topic two and i'm refreshing the page so you can see uh, the changes appears here and uh, yes this is how we create the laravel project and uh, in my next video i'll i'll explain uh, how the folder structures are there in the laravel and in my upcoming videos i'll show how to uh, develop a website project using laravel and uh, it means uh, i'll show all the available uh, methods and uh, options and a lot of features in the laravel we can say it as a feature there are a lot of uh, cool features available in laravel and i'll explain all those cool features uh, in my upcoming videos and if you have any queries or if you face uh, any problems uh, in following these steps just let me know in the comment section i'll reply as soon as possible yes that that's all for this this tutorial yeah Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.